go again. And uh, we're excited about the year, obviously. Um, can't say I missed you guys. I say that every year, but it's good to see you again. A lot of familiar faces. Um, we've had a great, since you know some of you have covered us, but since last year we've had a great spring, great summer, great fall. Um, it's been really good for us. You guys have really improved. And um, I'm not going to say, I think I'm crazy when I say this, but you're going to love covering this team. Because um, I know you like winners, and I know you like being around good kids that are good stories. This has been a low maintenance team for me, and a lot of fun out of coach. So you're gonna have fun covering them, just like I'm having a blast coaching them right now. Mark, talk about the uh, how the young guys and the returning players have meshed. Sometimes there's when when you have established players, they 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 look at young guys uh, a little differently mm -hmm. in terms of you know threats or or taking away playing time, how, how are these guys getting along? Well, you know, obviously by my opening statements, they're getting along great. I think we have a, uh, a group of guys coming back that are very determined um, to be successful. They've worked extremely hard. And, um, and then we have a, a group of, of new guys that are um, good basketball players, but also very humble. And um, I think there's a respect factor among our team. They respect each other's abilities. And um, this group uh, seems to really get along between the lines and understand each other's games. Um, so it's, it's, been, it's been great so far. Now, we haven't got into playing time yet. You know, it's just practice time. Playing time changes things. But uh, they've really been together. It's been a good mesh. Coach, um, with, uh, I'm sure all your young guys have found, found a little bit of pressure because of how highly ranked the recruiting classes. But Melo specifically, there's been a lot of news out there that he's one of the most important freshmen in the country. Do you think he's the kind of guy that can handle that well? And, and why? what about his personality makes him able to do that? Well, I, I think um, I don't think our young guys are feeling pressure. I think that um, there's a reason they're ranked so high, because they're good players. And um, they can handle it. I've been going to a new league, so do you feel like it's a whole new ball game in a way that you're not going to be playing the same teams? Your team is radically different. Um, well, the, the league's obviously uh, a big uh, change. Um, but the thing for us is we're going from a, a great league to another great league. It's not like we're dropping down six levels. We could arguably be moving up. Um, the Big Ten's been the best league in the country the last four years. They've had the most Sweet 16 teams, the most Elite Eights, most Final Fours, most first team All Americans. Um, so it's a heck of a league. And it's got coaches that I really respect and have a, and, uh, and follow their programs and do a tremendous job. So, uh, you know, that, that makes, makes it difficult um, when you have to learn 13 new teams. Uh, puts a lot on my assistants to study film. And because uh, when we get right in the grind, they're, they're the ones that are going to have to really know everything. So they have to really put in the extra time on that. But I also think it's an advantage because there's 13 teams that don't know us. And, um, gives us an advantage on the road and that's or, you know playing those teams so that's the way I'm looking at it an advantage for us yeah, Maryland from big Ten from big Ten perspective do you think you'll become more difficult to scout because you're not there's not going to be a, as much uh, tape available from you you know with you guys in a, in a motion offense yeah it's not a true motion but it's it's different and um, we have some guys that are very intelligent players and it allows us to do some things that we haven't been able to do in the past. Um, so it fits our personnel nicely. Um, is it easily scoutable? Uh, yes and no. There's parts of it that will be scoutable and there are parts that, that won't be, um, which helps us. The good thing for us, if we become very efficient in our motion offense, um, it just makes things a lot easier. Um, everything that we do will flow into it. Our guys will have confidence in it. They'll know mismatches and where we need to go with it as the season wears on. And, and uh, the guys really like it. And um, it's, it's been good for us. Our spacing's been good. And, and um, uh, I think we'll be pretty, di you know, when, we're, when we get it going, we'll be pretty difficult to guard. Going along with that, um, last year I know early on you guys struggled a little bit defensively. And I know you mentioned that you take a lot of pride in that. Do you think you've made strides in terms of your team defense? Yeah, we've had a great commitment to defense. Um, our guys have worked really hard. Once again, smart players, learn quickly, do it right. Might not be as talented, uh, might not be as fast, but they're in the right position. And that makes up for a lot of things. So 
Um, I, I wanted to ask you a little bit about the motion offense. Um, if this was some sort of philosophical change that will be Mark Turgeon's offense from here on out, or whether maybe the changes were specifically aimed at this particular group of players. Yeah, I, I think um, I think coaches are you know if you if you want to be successful, you got to continue to kind of evolve. Um, whether it's in your system that you like, just making <coughs> minor changes. Um, but I think it fits our personnel. I think that's why um, we wanted to do it. Um, the guys like it. And you're, to me, as a coach, you try to teach kids how to play basketball. And uh, I feel like we're doing that. We're, we're, we're making them basketball players. And um, it's easy. It's not your true motion passing game of the past. Um, but it's what we do, and I think it fits our personnel nicely.